Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Northern Lion, hard mode, reboith. Last run was pretty good. We got some new red outlined things. We're not quite enjoying the same level of success I would love to see, but hey, I can't complain too hard about where we're at here. We're gonna get... You know, I'm okay. I'm content having Isaac again. I love having the D6. I can't complain. We still got a ton of stuff to fill out. SKM8, Game 8, S926. What kind of number did I write down there? Man, thank God we live in the era of computers where I can just type. I can type well. My penmanship is god-awful, as I'm sure you're finding out secondhand here. Um, two of the same pill. Could be good. Yeah, could be great, actually. That is... Uh, oh, get the mouse pointer off the screen there. That is kind of amazing. I know we've got a, a blow upable chest there. That's the scientific term for them. We also have our item room, and this is kind of, considering it's Curse of the Lost, oh, Curse of the Lost is not a uh, big floor anymore. I was getting uh, ahead of myself here. Uh, I was thinking that we could get a second reroll. So, Loki's Horns. This is an item that is, is one of the few items, not few, but one of the one of the items from Rebirth, in Rebirth, that uh, has had its kind of, like, value changed, I think, uh, versus Vanilla. In Vanilla, Loki's Horns was, eh, you know, it was okay. Nothing to write home about. In Rebirth, Loki's Horns is not an incredible item. Like, I wasn't like, oh shit, Loki's Horns. But it's a good base for some weird kind of synergies with with items like Brimstone, Mom's Knife in particular. Uh, so, we'll try to... Well, I mean, we don't really have too much control over it, even though we do have the D6. But we'll try to make some good stuff happen here uh, with Loki's Horns. I wouldn't hold out a ton of hope. But, uh, and, you know... Every few shots, maybe, if we can get some uh, Krampus' head action, if we got Brimstone, that would be lovely. So I'm going to save my bomb and not worry about that, uh, that blow upable chest because of the fact that there's those spikes. And I really worry that those uh, spikes are going to push the bomb away from where it would have to be. This Spirit Art is actually super, super nice. We'll see what we get from our boss, though. Uh, I'm not going to pick up the Spirit Art yet. Don't let me forget that the Spirit Art is here. I'm going to hold you personally responsible. Yes, you. If we are uh, unable to remember that, to recall that when the uh, when the chips are on the line, when we're down and out on the edge of our seat, it's uh, 65 to 17, and we're going for the extra point attempt in this the third period. That's when we need to be at our best. When Barry Bonds steps up to for his breakaway attempt, and he goes for a slam dunk when he should have done a layup. That's when. That's when we find out what you ladies and gentlemen out there are truly made of. When Wayne Gretzky hits a grand slam in the, the final end of the Ryder Cup. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about anymore, but I'm trying to distract myself from the fact that this Gemini fight can be a little uh, freaky here towards the end of the... Oh, it's okay, don't worry about it too, too much. You just kind of get out of there. We'll be fine. Gemini is deceased. That is a reroll and a half right there. Got a little bit of extra HP. By my scientific analysis, we've raised our HP by one. And that's going to give us a really nice foothold on potentially a deal with the devil on the next floor. Now, we are missing a key. And a key is uh, one of the principal factors in opening a lock. Items tend to be behind locked doors in Isaac. To, uh, for most of them, at least. Or many of them. Uh, so, we're going to have to... Make something happen there. Hopefully, uh, just one of the, I was going to say, one of these champions will be kind enough to do it. And there we had it. I apologize, by the way. I know I'm being a little silly today. You're on a hard mode, Northern Lion. Take it seriously. I don't know. I'm just in a little bit of a silly mood, you know? It's, uh, it's my birthday weekend. I don't really buy the idea that a person should have a birthday weekend. That's like... Weekend is like, you know, three days, basically. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday isn't technically part of the weekend, but we all know that it sort of is. That's like 1% of the year almost. A little bit less than 1% of the year. It's a little bit egregious to assume that 1% of the year should be dedicated to celebrating your birth. You get one night, okay? If you're my friend, it's it's my birthday. All right, let's 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 what do you want to do? You want to go uh, drink margaritas and eat tortilla chips at the Mexican chain restaurant in town? Let's do it. It's your birthday. Let's celebrate you. It's my birthday weekend! Fuck, dude, I got shit to do, alright? You can't monopolize all my time, it's somebody's birthday every day, you know? 
give some give some respect to the other people that you're kind of like taking the attention away from here namely myself now we can't actually do anything about this golden poop here we did get another key by the way I didn't really notice it but I should have our uh ooh tainted rock our um no 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 it's still good enough what is going on down there another bomb and another key too bad it's gonna be real tricky to pick them up well sort of um, we gotta decide what we're gonna do with our rerolls. My my hope was that kind of like we'd find the boss room adjacent to the to this room, or adjacent to this room, or adjacent to this room. Okay. Well, I think we we have to reroll mystery sack. Ah, I don't know. It's so hard. Maybe we'll just we'll act like we only have one reroll on this floor. Mystery sack is not amazing, but uh, I wanna. I want to ensure that we don't want to reroll a potential deal with the devil first, because that, if we rerolled like a shitty deal with the devil item, oh, we need two bombs to get that, I think, but this could be a secret room, so I think it's worth our two bombs. Plus, it if we get a uh, spirit heart, it'll protect our existing red heart, so we have a better chance of a deal with the devil, plus we got a bomb back in return. Alright, this is a big uh, time to put your money where your mouth is, right here. Oh, come on. He got a little bit of a speed boost at the end there. I call bullshit on that one. Good. That was better. Um, yeah, we're just gonna... If we have to take Mystery Sack, it's not the end of the world, right? It's not like we're avoiding rerolling something like Razor Blade that there's not a chance in hell we would ever want. Instead, um, you know, it's an item that is, is passive and would actually help us out here. Okay. Honestly, like, I... I love you, Dingle, and I love to defend you as not an overly difficult boss, but you gotta stop doing that charge attack, dog. Yeah, you gotta shoot some bullets. Gives me a little bit more time to actually sneak in some damage there. As is, it was it's taken forever to deal with your horse hockey here. Alright, so Dingle's gonna go out. Maybe not that uh, phase, but soon after, I should have kept firing. That's alright, he's dead. We got a screw. We're gonna take it. It's better than Mystery Sack. So by default, that ends up being what we take. And then we are gonna reroll this, and I'm very glad that I saved our reroll for this. Ah, okay. I think we take Guppy's Collar and reroll the other two. We could have rerolled all three. But uh, I like this, because now we got a better chance to become Guppy. You know, we picked up Guppy's Paw there. Um, I don't think Missing Page 2 is very good, but we got two Guppy items. That's a really, really good start for us. Um, and we got like some cute little Loki horns going on too. It kind of gives us a nice little uh, like animal ears or something like that. So we'll go take Mystery Sack. And you know what? I probably shouldn't have been as down uh, about Mystery Sack as I was. Not that I was like despondent about it or anything like that. But um, Mystery Sack does have the potential to give us more consumables, which is pretty important on a run like this. And if we picked it up earlier, we might have even had a chance to get a, a drop. It should drop once every four rooms. And if this even pays out with a couple of keys, I'm going to be over the moon about it. Let's do a little bit more exploration here. We got the time. We got the, the money, honey, if you got the time. We got the honey, bunny, if you got the time. That's my Winnie the Pooh version of that. What do you think, chat? And by that, I mean commenters. Um, secret room, which is almost guaranteed to be right over here. Or save the bomb. Honestly, we're going to save the bomb because this is a GD nightmare. Uh, maybe it's not guaranteed to be over there. I actually don't know where it would be. There's a couple of conflicting uh, ideals going on in my mind right now. So curse rooms now become extremely important. They're going to become, you know, big guppy chances for us. Curse of Darkness on Catacombs 1. Before we go into the curse room, though, we are going to try to get a reroll ready. Reroll ready. I don't know why it's... A little bit, uh, sounds awkward to say. Reroll ready. We got the reroll ready. We like to reroll. We like, we like to re- Again, man, what was I saying, you know? Early 2000s, best era for music. Whatever happened to artistic integrity, you know? Whatever happened to artists like the Venga Boys? The Venga Boys are coming, and everybody's jumping. New York to San Francisco. I wanna something, I forget the rest. Something to do with disco, maybe? Venga boys. That's all I have to say about that. They like to party. They like, they like to party. It's just, it's all contained right there, isn't it? Golden poop. I like it. I like golden poop. <laughs> Not very pleased with myself for that little uh, oversight right there, but it was Curse of Darkness, so I, I forgive myself for it, even if I, if I shouldn't. Very likely that we're going to end up getting enough cash to... Uh, 
visit upon the shop. What the heck? Where did? How did you break your own pooper? Was it Loki's horns that actually freed you from my own prison? That doesn't seem right. Should shoot the poop. At least the the free poop. Might as well take this one out too. Don't like these guys. This would be a great time for Loki's horn to drop some fat stacks. We really need to try to preserve a deal with the devil. This is going to give us a spirit heart, which is great. Should give us a spirit, I should say, because uh, champions don't follow necessarily the same rules in, in hard mode. As long as we can just keep this up, I'm, uh, I'm a very happy camper. This is fine by me as well. Sure, I'll just be right here if you need me. So what we're going to do is now go visit our curse room. It's a bit of a tricky situation to find ourselves in. We visit our curse room here. Uh, we do use our bomb. I'm very glad I didn't use that elsewhere. Got a spirit heart out of it. Feels good. And a couple of spiders. So I'm a little bit less than enthused about the whole spider part of that quotient. But apart from that, we did end up... Uh, well, we lost a bomb and gained like half a spirit heart. That's not so bad. You know, there's, there's worse curse rooms in this world. There's our bomb back. My bomb is back and you're gonna be in trouble. Hey now, hey now, my bomb is back. Ooh, careful. Never understood that song. It's like, my boyfriend's back and you're gonna be in trouble. Well, what have you... That was not a terrible pitch, by the way, but... um. What have you been doing? Why Why are you going to be in trouble at the boyfriend's back? Did he, was he gone? Like, was he in the army or something? We'll take BFF. I don't know if it makes our pretty flies any better, but I know people love it, so we'll take it. Um, what have you been doing while your boyfriend's gone that's going to get you in trouble? Why, if, if someone else is going to get in trouble, maybe it's because, oh, you know what it is? I, I assumed that there had been some hanky-panky going on, but I bet there was in true, you know, Grease-like fashion, because this is the kind of like the 50s era the song comes from, probably some... Some kid was trying to get up all in her. She's trying to buy her a malt beverage. Take her to the sock hop. Because of the lighting, I can't tell if this is freaking synth oil or um, speedball. But what I will say is that um, we're probably going to uh, just try to fight the boss first. Because if we get a deal with the devil, we'll want to be able to reroll it to give ourselves the best chance possible of getting guppy items. But anyway. Um, yeah, probably some street uh, thug trying to get up in her face and say, Hey, let me take you to the sock hop, girl. The Sadie Hawkins dance is coming up this week, and I want to buy you a malt beverage and then take you out to it. And then, that's because, you know, just because my boyfriend's away this month, teaching English as a second language to underprivileged kids overseas doesn't mean you can try to swoop in on his territory, mister. I've concocted my own, um, my own uh, narrative here. A lot of the songs from like the, you know, the 50s and 60s about romance, I kind of don't get. You know, there's Leader of the Pack. It's basically like a, about a dumb idiot who's like a borderline criminal and dies in a motorcycle accident. We're supposed to feel sad. The leader in Leader of the Pack kind of sounds like a jerk-off. Honestly, I'm not saying I'm happy he died, although he's a fictional individual. I'm just saying, you know, like, who cares? Girl, you're better off without the Leader of the Pack. You should pay attention to the dude who's getting straight A's in math class. He'll treat you right. And maybe, just maybe, he can light your loins ablaze as well. Alright, so I'm happy that we re-rolled um, the range upgrade. We get a shoot speed upgrade and a uh, damage upgrade. Hopefully this is synth oil, but I don't care. Yeah. It's speedball. You know, our shots are going to be real fast now. Wow, with Loki's horns, those shots are absurd. Um, I am going to blow up our donation machine to get enough money to buy BFF. Why BFF? No, just BFF. It's only three letters. Makes our flies a little bigger. And if we become Guppy, the flies that we generate from this will be huge. But mostly, I'll, I'll admit that I'm taking this to just, uh, you know, appeal to the people who love BFF and, and want it BFF to be their friend. We do have a uh, gauntlet room that maybe I should have gone to, but I was eager to get out of that Curse of Darkness floor. Curse of the Maze. Baby, I'm amazed by the way you can't find your way out of me. You gotta get some methodology. 
Baby, I'm amazed by the way that I'm amazed. Does it really make any sense? You just gotta go with it, alright? It's I'm in a silly mood today. I wish I could be more analytical and serious, but on a hard mode, I kind of feel like, you know, you just gotta... You gotta be a little bit more easygoing. It sounds counterintuitive, but I think sometimes counterintuitive is the is the right way, you know? We're, uh... You'd think that being more serious would help us out, but honestly, I think you just gotta kinda ease up and recognize that... You don't, you're not in 100% uh, control of your destiny, you know? It's a bomb. It's not a key, but it is a bomb. You can get that tarot card with that bomb. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Uh, a little bit more interested in uh, maybe using that bomb to get ourselves into a secret room. Are you seeing how fast this uh, like orange tinted eyeless ooze guy is? Plus he's got eyes, which is just cheating, but he's, he's real quick. I don't really care uh, that we knocked one of the ooze state there. I just want to, um, you know, if we could just isolate one. Like, maybe the fast one is going to be the easiest one for us to kill. We did just get him there. Um, you know, isolate one, take him out, and then there's less chasing you in the future. Makes it a lot easier to finish the job. We did get another one there. We might get two here, or even three. Yeah, we're, they, these guys are dunsky. All right. No keys. That would be too easy. Nothing there. Boss room, please. Boss room, please. No? Alright, I'm not gonna risk uh, walking on you guys. Wanna get to the boss room so I'm not, like, wasting ooh, too many opportunities with ye old D6 here. Ah, I dodged, like, right back into that line of fire, like, six times. This room is crazy annoying. There we go. Big miss there. Apologize for the clickety clackety going on here. This is one of the few rooms where I don't want to be uh, elegant about it, right? I just want to make sure that I'm doing the best dodging that I possibly can. There we go. He exploded. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're just going to keep walking for now. Thanks, Curse of the Maze. I really wanted to revisit this completely empty room. I like having as high of range as we do. You know, we can sneak in some fairly decent damage shots all the way down here. Got some crazy knockback associated as well. Knockback Kings 2004 here, published by EA Sports. What is going on? You see those bonies? They got trapped. That's like, that's what happens in Canada every time, you know, people kind of go the same direction when they're walking in opposite directions, you know, then they dodge and they go, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, excuse me. But because, you know, we're all so polite down here, Everybody just continues to dodge, and that's honestly like the third leading cause of death after maple syrup overdosing and moose attacks. I have, I shouldn't. I'm selling my own people out by making those stereotypical jokes. I apologize. It's not cool. I was just having a giggle. I apologize. I'm sorry about it. That is not bombs or key. And that's not okay. Thank you. Still no keys, huh? Well, um... Go out on a limb and say we're not really using our rerolls as effectively as I would like to be. But we're kind of, you know, we got our hands tied, I guess. This is our deal with the devil shot right here. Mega Fatty has so much freaking HP, it'll make your head spin. I hate it. But, at the same time, Mega Fatty is also not the most difficult boss uh, in the game. And we, we will do well, uh, I think, against it. Just never jump, and life is grand. You just keep it down there on the level, Mega Fatty, and we'll, uh, we got no problems. Tell me no secrets, I'll, or ask me no secrets, I'll tell you no lies. You just keep holding the fort down over there. I'll stay over here. I'm just gonna be over here shooting my very, you know, violent tears, and if you walk into them, it's not my fault. Okay, they really want us to take that range upgrade. Uh, it looks like we will probably end up re-rolling the range upgrade. I don't know, though, because if we get Krampus's head... You know what? If we get Krampus's head, we should re-roll that, because it does give us a very real guppy chance. Even if we don't become guppy, we'll get some kind of deal with the devil item. Which is not guaranteed to be useful, but a range upgrade is not useless. We might even re-roll it if it... Ah, uh, we shouldn't re-roll it if it is Lump of Coal. Lump of Coal by itself is... is Good enough to take, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll take this and we'll reroll the range upgrade instead. I think this is a happy uh, compromise. I gave us some HP, which is pretty much what you expect from that uh, combination that we've uh, enacted there. Tough act and enacted. 
So, uh, Lump of Coal is great because I was just talking about how our, uh, you know, our range is, uh, pretty nice. Even though we've re-rolled, like, two range upgrades thus far. Or the same range upgrade twice, at least. Please allow me to go to the item room, though. That's really, like, a, a crux of your, your game, is being able to visit item rooms. So, it actually is pretty meaningful. We should stand as far away as is humanly possible now. That will make a big difference. Thank you, Fly. We're done with this floor, then. Well, we gotta go to Curse Room. I should have gone to the Curse Room when I had my reroll already. I just didn't think about it. Um, well, let's take a look at something here. No, we can't bomb our way into that one. Let's try to find the secret room, like, here. And maybe we can bomb our way into the Boss Trap Room. Okay, we can. And we got a slot machine. Which, honestly, we should play the shit out of. We gotta get a key if we can. We did have a luck downgrade. That's not gonna make gambling. Oh, but we're Kane, right? So we should have a decent chance at it. I'm not gonna take this just in case it teleports us somewhere I don't wanna go. I don't care. I've given up on the shop. It's really the item room here. Come on. Okay. Well, oh, alright. Yeah, sure. Fudge you too, Tony. Lovely. Love that. Guppy! This is not Guppy, okay. Our pill was telepills, though! Did call that, unfortunately. Well, it is down to the next floor, skipping our item room, skipping our shop, skipping our boss trap room, and a curse room that doesn't love us. Debus 1, Curse of the Lost. It's alright, you know? It's alright to be little bitty. Little old town instead of big old city. Might as well uh, sing, might as well smile, life goes on for a little bitty while. I hate the AI on these guys and how they actually, like, refuse to travel over the spikes. Just wanted to get a quick glimpse for where this guy is. Real trick here is just not getting yourself, uh, stuck. Now with you, I think I'm in a pretty good spot here, because I don't think you're gonna chase me down. And I got some pretty solid range, so I can hang out over here and I'll say, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. You, come at me, dog. You can come over the, the spikes here if you're interested. I don't think you are interested, though. In fact, I think you're very disinterested in the whole idea of death here, which is understandable. Oh, thank you. Okay. Just checking to see, because, you know, on these big rooms, there's a chance that I could just not even realize that this is uh, where the item room is. Stop jumping, like, every second, maybe, and just fuck off for a minute. Thank you. Guess that's our lesson. Uh, never stand close to champion enemies, because they might explode. Just to, That's why I don't stand next to anything in my life. I like to keep a 10 meter radius between me and all physical objects, just in case there's an explosion risk. Happens more often than you'd think. Wake up, sheeple! Spontaneous combustion doesn't just happen to people. Well, this doesn't really happen to people in general, I guess. That penny is going to make all the difference. Definitely. Okay, this is okay. That dude almost blocked the most critical shot for me here. We did take damage. It's possible we won't get a deal with the devil out of this situation as a result of that, but um, we haven't really had the greatest luck with deals with the devil thus far anyway. I mean, except for those two free guppy items, but... And the lump of coal. All right, you know what? I'm being an ungrateful piece of uh, human garbo. You can never tell me, you know, people say, Northern Line, I hate how you say Garbo. I gotta stay hip with the cool and fresh kids, right? That's what they're saying these days. They're all sending each other nudes over Snapchat and talking about how Garbo their math class is. You think I'm not hip with what the kids are putting down these? I'm still hip. I'm just because I'm uh, in my mid-twenties. Barely. Like, barely still in it. That doesn't mean I'm not hip, man. I was cool. I was, people... Men wanted to be me, and women wanted me, man. Anyway. That train has sailed. Don't mind the Zambies. I believe that's a uh, Sex Pistols album. Never mind the Zambies. If you could just give me the item room. I would love you forever. What is this, like, bullshit, you know, jellyfish cotton candy over here? Great damage. Very constructive. Um, curse room is integral. We have to go to it. Unfortunately. Wow. 
we're not doing nearly as much damage as I thought we were. Uh, unfortunately, we can't really justify go into it when it would nearly kill me. Look, I don't like this any more than the next guy. You know, we got this D6 charged up. But I worry about our ability to actually survive if I lose one red heart right now. One thing's for sure, I really can't afford to be taking as much dumb damage as I am. Good. Yeah, this is, this is a much smarter way to deal with the problem. <laughs> Just throw in, like, largely, completely worthless diagonal shots. That'll sort you out. Only take, like, 20 or 30 of those, and if you make a mistake, you know, you lose one full red heart. There we go. Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit better about our chances of going to that curse room. It's all good. It's all gravy in the navy, baby. See? I'm still hip with all the, the fresh phrases of Bel Air and stuff like that. I'm picking up what you're putting down. No guppy. That's a telepills, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we we should. Bombs are key. That's terrible. That is the worst possible time for that to show up. Very real chance that I actually will not be able to get uh, into my item room now. Thanks a lot, Curse Room. That was, uh, that was lovely. When I wanted the bombs or key pill, there was no bombs or key pill. Now that I want nothing less in the world, there it is. And I took damage in order to get it as well. Lovely. Come on. Come on. Come on, though. Come on. Okay. Got out of there just in time. Should try shooting down this way first, because we'll do more damage this way. We'll hit way less often, though. Yeah, this is a productive use of my time. I hate being in situations where, like, it's very, very prudent to stand as far away as possible to get that damage bonus out of Lump of Coal. That's, like, your indication that you're not doing something right. Oh, there's a tinted rock, and I actually saw it! And it gave us the small rock, which is not really what I wanted, but a damage upgrade is a damage upgrade. In most cases, I actually would prefer to get, uh, to get it, but, uh, in this case, I'm a little bit more hard-pressed just for, you know, the, the trappings of a normal life. AKA, you know, give me a spirit heart or maybe some keys, please. But, um, I, I can't complain too hard about getting small rockets. That's a damage upgrade. You don't always get too many of those, and we might not, uh, get the opportunity to get too many more, so we shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth on that one. Good, good, no drops. Item room, is this real life? You're actually gonna allow us to, to trade a key for an item? And I have a reroll active? Surely something must be amiss a over at, you know, RNG's HQ here. Ghost Baby is so bad. Okay, Death's Touch, now we're starting to get somewhere. This is a, a penetrative shot. I think it gives us a nice damage, ooh, not so good. Gives us a nice damage bonus as well. We're not going to have a reroll for the deal with the devil. Oh, God. But I think this was still the smartest choice we could have made. Let's do this. Monstro 2. There is no universe in the fucking multiverses where I should be taking two hits of damage on Monstro 2. This is probably the easiest boss we could possibly end up fighting right here. Don't fudge and blow it. Okay? The universe has given you a great gift here in a boss that you actually have the tools to defeat. We're throwing these scythes out with reckless abandon. We are like Gambit right now. I know Gambit throws cards. You know, I'm using a little bit of poetic license. I know I'm not a poet, okay? I'm using a little bit of poetic license. Okay. Devil Room. No. Spoot upgrade. That is not good enough. We gotta go, and this is very dangerous for us as we head down to the next floor. Curse of the Unknown. Well, we can't see how much HP we have, which is not that bad because we know where we're starting from. We have one HP. Come on, work with me here. Drop, like, drop a little bit. Come on, one HP. These guys shouldn't be so bad or bad at all. There's a key. One HP. Gotta keep saying it room to room so I remember, you know, stay hungry. Two bombs would be awesome here. One HP. Okay, be very smart here. 
One HP. Oh, half and half a heart. Half a heart. Oh my god, I thought for sure he would be dead. Really? Half a heart. One hit'll kill us. Oh, I, I really don't want to use my key to play that slot machine. Half a heart. These guys have got to die. We almost got hit. Half a heart. Work with me here, game. I know you're not dropping consumables, but come on, dog. Half a heart. Don't let that thing charge you. Don't let that thing charge you. Half a heart. But the item room's here. It's rubber cement. That seems like really cool for us here. Yeah, that's neat. Half a heart. No bombs even. I would be blowing skulls up like crazy. Half a heart. Okay, this could be good. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. The pressure is on. There's that heart back there, but we don't have any bombs. There's a curse room, which would definitely kill us. Now, we did get Guppy's Collar. So straight up, there is a chance we would come back to life. Don't let Curse of the Unknown trick you there. We do have a chance in that regard, which is great because I very nearly took damage right there. Half a heart. Half a heart. Just a half heart right now. Feeling very half-hearted. I actually really want this run to win because Rubber Cement is so much fun. I at least want to be able to play it a little bit longer, you know? Oh! One and a half hearts. If I forgot to pick that up, you would have my permission to smack me. Rubber cement is so cool in this situation. I think this is the first time I've had rubber cement where I haven't had, like, brimstone. I always seem to get it when I have brimstone, so it's like, cool, I got rubber cement. What does it do? I don't know, jack shit with brimstone? At all? Oh man, I didn't realize Rubber Cement bounces off enemies, too. That's uh, that's pretty sweet. I don't know how it works with Penetrative Shot. Might as well take Missing Page. I don't know. We got two Missing Pages now. Should be the Missing Page transformation. We'll just trans transform into a book. Not every joke can be a winner. So we're going to have to beat Mom pretty dang quickly without getting hit as much as you would normally probably give yourself allowance for. I say we do it, honestly. We got our we got our reroll charged up right here. It's regular mom. Now we're just gonna be creating like a miasma of death and disease here. My my general hunch on this run is just fire as much as possible, and you're gonna hit things by accident, and that's gonna make your life better. So we're taking the Polaroid. We got no red hearts at the end of that fight, which is straight up bullshit, by the way. But we're at least alive, and I was concerned that we wouldn't even get to that point. So we're at one heart. Don't, don't shoot. Don't, don't shoot. Oh, God dang it. Oh, my God. Who wasn't even scared for a minute. Was not even perturbed by the possibility of death. Be very, very careful. Just a little, a little cautious here. Drop some freaking red hearts, hard mode. You're not impressing anybody. You're just being an asshole. Okay, we got Mr. Boom. That's at least a reroll pedestal. Amazing. I cannot imagine a more useful item for us right now than something that uh, would kill us the first time we used it and do like two HP to each or two damage to each enemy. Don't ever, don't ever look at what these enemies are doing. Just stay the hell away. I don't know how we're gonna hit these ding dongs. You gotta do like, you see that? I do like a backwards moonwalk rubber cement bullshit. These, yeah, I was gonna say these guys have a pretty good chance to kill us, but we came back. Do we go to that room? I don't know. I th those guys are always gonna be a pain in the ass. I feel like it might be might be best for me to try to do just like some more uh, walking around here. As much as you might be saying, hey, Ryan, you're not the greatest Rebirth player of all time, you gotta admit, the game's being very stingy with the Red Hearts right now. I was hoping Petrified Poop wouldn't just give us a chance to get money, but it would give us a chance to get, uh, to get, uh, to get the HP out of the poops as well. It may or may not happen. This run, by the way, it'll be a tragedy. Oh my god, just give me a freaking bomb. What is pin? Pin? Oh my god, okay, I... 
I thought for sure I was going to dodge into those bullets. Um, we have such cool tears on this run. It'd be such a shame if we ended up shitting the bed. Mm, baby, I'm amazed by the way that somehow I'm not dead. Seriously, I've been shitting the bed, but mm, baby, I'm amazed by the way I somehow managed to stay alive. So, if we just survive this room, then we get a reroll, and we will utilize that reroll on. Um, oh, we, if we had used Mr. Boom, not that we didn't know it existed, but if we'd used Mr. Boom, we could have gotten those two red hearts. Fark. Well, it's like tech 0 0.5. I don't even know what this shit actually does. We occasionally shoot a weird little technology. I hope it does more damage. So again, I don't want to go into that room with the uh, the lumps because the lumps are so up their own asses. I have a very high tendency to actually hit you just by teleporting on top of you. So I think we have a better chance fighting like 15 different rooms instead of just that one. But in order for this, you know, strategy to do any make any sense, we have to actually get a consumable drop that is either a bomb or a red heart. Literally, either of those would be fine. But we exclusively now get keys. When we wanted keys... Sorry, sir, you wanted a key? Uh, we're all out. We got bombs and red hearts. Now. Oh, sorry, sir, you wanted a bomb or a red heart or an eternal heart or a spirit heart? Uh, Frey, we're all out. Have two keys. Not even enough to carry you through the the chest if you're lucky enough to get there. Which you it would be a hell of a lucky get, I'll admit. But still... Okay, well, I'm amazed by the fact that we haven't taken damage in the process here. We got another reroll up, but we don't have anything to use it on yet. Come on, one red heart. Oh my god, just give me the ability to get hit once. Take one damage on the lumps, and then fight the boss and have no... To be, have the ability to take no damage. That's the situation that I'm asking for, and even still the game is like, I don't know, that doesn't really seem fair to me. Okay, well, uh, steal yourselves, because there is a very, very good chance I will die on this next room. But I don't think anybody can watch this and say, like, I wasn't giving it my all. I've been giving it my all. And the, it's the game that has decided that um, I'm not worthy, apparently. <gasps> oh! You're cute, Lump. You're lucky you're cute. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. That is a heartbreaker. I had such a good tear effect and rubber cement plus sights was so cool, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.